Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Volo Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a bright yellow Viper RT10 1995. It's, it's going on to bring a trailer. This has 6,300 original miles. Extremely clean example, came out of a estate sale. We were able to acquire it, we went through it, and it really is a blast to drive. I'd rate the paint easily a nine out of 10, and we'll show you why shortly. If you have any questions about this, you can leave a comment below, and we'll get back to you within 24 hours, or even faster. Uh, we have underside shots, we have transportation options, so if you want to get a transport quote, you go to our website, you fill out your zip code or port of entry, we'll be able to help you out with that. But let's get back to this car, we'll do a full walk around, test drive, and let you guys decide if this is the right 6300 mile RT10 for you. Okay, overall quality, I'd rate this a 9 out of 10, low mileage, original paint, there's only one imperfection, that's why it's, I'm giving it the 9 out of 10, there's a small stress fracture right here. Otherwise. All the wheels look great. The tires are from, uh, from 2017, they're Michelins. I have the receipt for that. All the brakes are in excellent condition. Sorry about the brake dust on there. Engine bay is unbelievable. And I'll show you right now, you've got your yellow snake up here. All right, we do that. And then pull forward, lift from the center. So you got a V10 here, very clean. Normally when they have higher mileage, all of the wrinkles gonna start to come apart. Uh, no starter issues, turns on as it should, air conditioned, so it has the AC option, which is a $1,200 option. Paint you can see throughout is done properly. It's all original. Brake master cylinder here, and all the heat shrouds for the exhaust manifolds, if it had high miles, you would have burning marks on those and there's no discoloration like yellowing or browning. All stock in regards to the air box, no modifications. Let me close this. So when you close it, you wanna make sure it grabs on both ends. And then I put, press from the front. There we go. No uneven gaps in the lights. All the lights are perfect. We're gonna take the side sills off for the test drive. <laughs> There's no door handles, so you have to reach in there and pull it. Other reason for the 9 out of 10, small imperfection on this little pull card. The plastic is cracked. Other than that, the interior is perfect. This is one of the nicest ones I've seen. All your bolsters look great, center console's right. The dash is painted the proper color, shifter is original. All the gauges work as they should. Let me grab the keys real quick. Next step is going to be the quarter. Quarter shows very well, and you can see the tires still have plenty of tread left, but they're from 2017. So I think uh, tires last around seven years, right? I mean, there's, the rubber feels really good. Tail lights are in great shape. Another snake insignia. Trunk is super clean. You've got your radio amplifier right there your gas cap cover, and then a spare tire. All this is very nice. Passenger side quarter looks great. And when you look underneath the car, which you can see in our gallery, there's no imperfections underneath, the, underneath this. 335s in the rear, 275s up front. Passenger side's very nice. We have all the documentation. So we have the original window sticker, the uh, purchase order, the uh, dealer receipt documents, along with a host of repair manuals, the whole nine yards. It also has the Viper cover that's gonna be included, which allows you to still see the plate and there's a nice Viper insignia on it. All the glass is very nice. You still have the Dodge Safeguard glass. 
There's no imperfections near any of the tailpipes, which is common for these models, because it'll get hot and then the fiberglass will crack. This sticker normally is worn out after 10,000 miles from the heat. Doors close nicely, all your insignia, all your Viper badges look great. Let me start it. We'll take these windows off and take it for a spin. Clutch feels really good. Fuel pump kicks on properly so you don't have to do the double cycle. Sometimes that'll happen if the pump is going bad. Starts up easily. Air condition's working as it should, but it's beautiful out here in Florida, so we'll take the windows off for the test drive. Horn works, all your gauges work. 6,214 miles, so I said 6,300 miles. Cigarette lighter, extremely clean, never been used. E-brakes working as it should, so you see I'm rolling, and it stops it easily. Let's go for a test drive. Okay, let's start it up. Starts up easily. As I said, AC works as it should. Radio works. Oh yeah, baby. So you have two speakers right here. Glove box is very nice. I think we showed you that already. You do have the owner's manual and then I have so much documentation included with this car. Dash is a correct color, so sometimes people will paint this. This is not painted, that's all correct. Your brake light's illuminating. Your horn is working as it should. Ashtray. Let me get my seatbelt on and we'll take it for a spin. So the clutch feels good. No chattering. First gear is extremely long. We'll test it out once it warms up. It's actually warm, 180 degrees. Great oil pressure, we've got uh, 60 pounds of oil pressure, and it's hot. Great voltage. So if you have any questions about this ride, there's a comment section below in the auction section, which is on Bring a Trailer. That's where this is getting sold. And you're able to ask your questions, we can add additional photos, or we can respond to questions about whatever. So say you're like, hey, can I have a picture of this little corner of the steering wheel, even though I'm not gonna bid on it? I will get you that picture just to make you feel better. Clutch feels great. Uh, windshield wipers. They are out of sync. Oh my gosh. No, but they work as they should. All right, we'll turn left here. We're going to go over some bumps right now nice and solid. Look at the underside shots of this one. Very clean. Headliner. So I'm wearing a hat right now and I feel the headliner starting to touch my head. It's the only thing I can really pick at. We're going to test it out now. We're going to drive it normally and then we'll get some outside shots for you. Clutch is extremely easy. First gear. Second gear, we're gonna try to get in front of this garbage truck. This is gonna be the next investment for American Muscle. Six speed manual, V10, no traction aids. The suspension is unbelievable, you can push it. And it's, I believe, I think it's a 170 plus mile an hour car out of the box. That's, that's cool. Now you have to buy like an electric car and charge it. 27 is the one that has the, that's basically a Z06, right? Oh man, it feels really good. Going into third right now. Fourth. Turn signal's working. Steering is great. The gears are so long. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's actually a pump that you can use to for your lumbar support. I don't know if this one's working. These things usually deteriorate. We're gonna go to our closed course so we can actually show you how it runs. But yeah, first gear, look. 
probably 58 miles an hour. Let's see. Almost 50, 50 miles an hour first gear. We're still in second. Very smooth power band. Doesn't have any sort of hesitation. super low miles 62 16 when we put it away it'll be 62 20 no overheating issues we've got our AC on right now which I'll turn off since we're just we have the windows open brakes feel great all right we'll do a first to second gear pull here Are you ready Let's get some outside shots. 